Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope and pray that you all had a blessed and safe day yesterday. That none of you who are watching this video caught COVID or any other disease in any way. With that being said, before I get into it, it's cold as a mug up in here. I looked at my uh, heater, forgot that I didn't turn it back on yesterday. My apartment feeling 60 degrees. Now 60 degrees in the summer is okay. 60 degrees in the winter, oh snap. Not to mention that if it feels 60, there's a chance that none of my neighbors are home. None of their heaters are on. So, and I live in an upstairs middle apartment. So I just turned up on my heater, turned it to 77. Not sure how long it'll take to warm up, but hopefully it'll warm up real quick. Now, today's topic, are you living in FUD? Let me rephrase that. It's a question, are you living in FUD? For those who are new to the crypto world, what is FUD, you may be asking. FUD is an acronym for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Are you living in FUD? What are you living in FUD from? Is it crypto? Is it learning how to invest in your future? Is it learning how to take that money that you're spending every single day on beer, on alcohol, on liquor, on, at strip clubs, on women, on brand new Gucci things, on a bunch of new video games. I mean, y'all talk about wanting to follow your dreams. You talk about wanting to get into the rap game. You talk about wanting to improve your skills. Meanwhile, you sitting there spending a good percentage of your money on stuff that ain't helping you. I mean, I understand. I've been there. I've been there. Hell, I'm still working on budgeting better. Getting off my, I guess I can say fat chubby butt, you know. And actually cooking. I got all this food, you know. Like, for example, look at all this mac and cheese, fam. I got hella mac and cheese, even in my, uh... Backed up storage thing. But I'm too busy wanting to get a quick fix when I'm too tired or too stressed out. So I go up on DoorDash. Ooh, let's catch some Fazoli's. Oh, there goes $40. $50 maybe. Oh, there goes Mickey D's. $25. $30. Instant gratification. That's my instant gratification. I don't got a video game. I don't got a PS5 or a PS4 or an Xbox. I don't have a DVD player. I had to cut back on some streaming services. Streaming services that I don't even watch much. I had to put, my, put that money in to somewhere where it needs to go. And I'm telling you, if you're living in FUD of the future, if you're living in FUD of what's current, then that's not going to help you. It's not. By living in FUD, you're holding yourself back. I'm telling you, the universe, if you believe in God, God, you know, they want so much better for you. You got potential. I used to tell myself I don't have potential 99% of the time. I always told myself that I was nothing but a failure. And you know why? Because when I was younger, I failed in a bunch of my classes. I slept off. Yeah, when I got home, my mama made me do my homework. But did I ever turn it in? No. I was a slacker. I was too busy trying to focus on video games, try to take my mind, you know, focus on music, listening to music, take
taking my mind elsewhere, going on hikes in the woods by myself, trying to deal with the mental shit because I was being bullied and mocked by a bunch of my teachers. So why would it matter if I even did my homework for them, for them slimy ass mugs? Why? Why should I put in the work only to be bullied, only to be mocked, only to be laughed at? So I started so I started showing them that I could be lazy. That I could be a slacker. But where'd that put me? Huh? Huh? Where'd that get me? Not much. Not, not really anywhere in life. In 2012, I after spending four to six, uh, about, I don't remember how many years it was. It was like 16 to almost 21. I was age 16 when the, when the state of Missouri took me into custody. And the reason they took me into custody was not anything of my fault. It was because of the men my mother used to date. It was because of the teachers. <clears throat> it was because of the students. It was because of all the abuse I was facing that was leading me into self-harming. In 2012, I was released from foster care, Missouri foster care. Told that if I ever needed someone to call on, to have some emotional support, I could call on them. Boys and girls, town of Missouri. Ended up homeless a few months later after being released from foster care. Didn't even, the same night, my grandfather died. Man, do you not understand how happy I was to see that dude? Like, I was just like, only an hour away, like, I can't wait to see my grandpa. And then, because my brother and him got into an argument, some of the people that hate my fam my mom's side of the family and my mom sat there and said it was my brother who caused his death because they were arguing but in reality it's because my grandfather was drinking one of his favorite juices but the doctor that had prescribed a certain medication never warned him about that medication and that he cannot drink his favorite juice because it could lead to heart problems I was torn when I found out that he was dead. I was torn when the first night I got out of foster care, instead of being able to go to his house, knowing he'd be up all night waiting on me to give him a hug. Instead of getting to see him at his house, I had to see him in the fucking hospital. Dead. Passed out. No save. Nothing. Then a few months later, homeless, nowhere to go, no income. And then what that lead me? Down a path of getting into drugs for the first time, becoming a major alcoholic, thievery, conning, just doing everything I can to make the money. Because I'm telling you, I wouldn't eat the moldy ass old food from places like Salvation Army. They talk about caring about the community. They talking about supporting the community. Meanwhile, they're giving the homeless moldy ass old food. Then because of my age and because it was a time when a lot of prisons with a lot of big gangster cats were coming out and they wanted us to try and stay out of trouble. They, they started telling us the younger ones, that we couldn't, what, stay there. So we got stuck in the freezing cold ass snow. I'm talking about negative 20 degree weather with 80 mile per hour winds. And you wonder why I walk outside without a cup sometimes when it's 30 degrees. Cause to me, that don't feel like, that, that don't feel like nothing to me. I've been through it. 
most of these motherfucking cats on my followers ain't seen photos of me from back in 2014 when I finally first got into my apartment in Cologne, Minnesota. You know, they didn't. I was skinny. I was a motherfucking stick. Unhealthy. Sir, by that time I was no longer on drugs. But I was still mentally, more mentally unstable. And the fact that I live right next to an, a liquor store every, almost every single day. Hit that liquor store, sit on the bench outside of my apartment and drink up. Not giving a mother fuck. Twenty seventeen ended up homeless again. I mean my, my bad, not twenty seventeen, twenty sixteen. Couldn't find nowhere to go, couldn't find roommates. So ended up in these shitty ass group homes throughout Minnesota. I mean one of them was pretty cool, you know. I really like that one out in uh St. Louis. Uh not I mean not St. Louis, but uh St. Paul, Minnesota. I really enjoyed it. The staff there were real nice, you know. The residents were real nice. Shout out to my to my uh, friend Taylor. I know we don't talk much. Uh, I know it's rare that we talk, um, cause me and you both got we both got our lives to tend to, you know. And uh, you got an amazing uh, husband now, um, family, kids, pets, you know. But you're doing a lot better than you were two, three, four years ago. So I want to give a shout out to you. As for me, I'm <laughs> I'm also doing better. You know, I'm running my own business. I mean, I'm not. I'm trying to act like it ain't a business because it really ain't making profit for me yet. But what can I say? Things are looking up. So that's why I said stop living in fear. Because when I stop living in fear, when I stop living in fun for the housing, for the things like that, things started getting better, Start, things started looking up. So if you're living in FUD, that's your mind saying, that's your mindset saying fuck you. That's what they're doing. The whole, that whole mentality is saying fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you. Keep living in FUD. Cause this world's too fucked up. Nobody gives a shit about you. I got plenty of people who, who depend on me, who look forward to my vlogs. Some that aren't subscribed, some that are. Throughout various sources, you know. I got my brother that's looking up at me, you know, asking me, am I still doing music? <laughs> asking me if I'm still doing my vlogs. I mean, You know, life can be hard, but every situation we go through is a test. It's a test of faith, a test of strength. But one thing I want you to do is start learning how to stop living in fun, stop living in fear, stop living in uncertainty, and stop living in doubt. Take a risk because if you don't take the risk, you'll never make any sense. This is fat, uh, a part of anything. The more you worry, the more you fear, the more you stress about something in a negative way. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I'm telling you. Mindset is everything. Just like I said in my last video, the video I released yesterday, mindset is everything. It is the key to your life. It is the key to your success. It is the key to your future. It is the key to your current situation. The more you worry and stress and be like, oh my, for example, let's say, Let's say your grandma, you know, your grandfather, your mama ended up catching cancer. 
Sure, they they on stage four, right? The most deadliest one. But the more you be like, oh my god, you loser again. Oh my god, and you're complaining. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The more you do that, the less likely they're gonna survive. The less likely they're gonna survive. The more you stress, worry, and doubt, and you live in fear, the worse your life's gonna be. And that's why I stopped living in fear. That's why I stopped living in uncertainty. And that's why I stopped living in doubt. And if it wasn't for certain motivational speakers, if it wasn't for people like Chris Record, uh, let's see, there's Chris Record, uh, there's Bill, there's billionaires saying on uh, shoot uh, Facebook. They also got a, I believe they got an Instagram page too. You know, there's all these amazing motivational quotes. If it wasn't for the uh, motivation app, if it wasn't for the affirmations app, if it wasn't for the love of my life, Mrs. Amy Lee. You know, if it wasn't for certain people wasn't for certain businesses I would have never found myself heck I wouldn't even have known about me finding myself for at the when I was attending Los Angeles film school uh, trying to obtain my music production degree which I graduated with in 2019 you know in fact <laughs> let's look up let's look at uh, at that real quick so <laughs> Like I said, it's a funny story because at the time I was just like, I'm just going to do this for fun. I ain't ever going to make no money off of it. I ain't, I ain't good enough for that. Da, 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 da. Next thing you know, I'm on Beat Stars. You know, for those of you who are musicians, y'all, if y'all been to Beat Stars and hip hop artists, whatever, y'all know what Beat Stars is. They got hella fucking beats, you know, different prices, different producers, all that good stuff, you know. They're actually one of the top um, places to b purchase beats with, you know. Um, except unless you're going directly to the uh, artist uh, or beat producer's website, you know, or Telegram, et cetera, et cetera. So, needless to say, I was just scrolling through and I seen uh, this ad, uh, this advertisement for Los Angeles Film School talking about get your, you know, music production degree, da da da. You know, I, I just thought, you know, I ain't gonna do that, you know. Next thing you know, my eye keeps looking at it, right? That's the universe. That's the angels. That's whatever that you know. That's the higher ups talking to you, like, yo, this is this is where we going. This is where we going. <laughs> and kid you not, so I click on it, request the info. Next thing you know, I'm already filling out the application. Like, within seconds, like, that's the universe. But here's the thing. Am I using those production things that I've learned in school? Not really. You know why? Because I'm so used to logic. I'm so used to, uh, like, that was the main thing we were learning how to use was logic. And because I had to sell my MacBook at a pawn shop to get some money to pay a bill back in, uh, this back in summer of uh, I think it was July in 2021 so pretty much last year you know I had no option you know so I had to sell it for money so I don't even have access to logic anymore you know $200 right although I couldn't access the one because my account got locked out and I couldn't didn't have the old e uh, phone number none of that so I was just out of luck so I had to spend 200 from this extra school money when I started read back in school, you know, purchase that $200 right there off the bat, you know, unlimited uh, up, uh, updates, so free updates when they release an update, consider, which is, uh, to me, it's a lot better because why would I spend buy Acoustica only to have to pay for an upgrade? You see, uh, so if I buy whatever the latest one, Acoustica 9 or whatever, Mixcraft 9, right? Why would I want to spend fifty dollars to upgrade to the 10 when it comes out like come on now or 80 whatever it is come on you should be giving this is a music production thing that's why that's why i loved logic in fact i also loved iMovie 
for video creation. I haven't found anything like that. I tried a couple that say they're like, they're like iMovie, but they don't work like that. They're even, they're, they're terrible. They're not easy to use. So do I miss my MacBook? Hell yeah. Do I wish that I could have, could afford one right now? Yeah. I mean, shoot, I would drop two, I would drop 2K if I had 2K in my pockets right now on a MacBook. Because I can't stand this Windows laptop. <clears throat> can't even use my crypto tab to mine <clears throat> cryptocurrencies when I'm not using it, right? Of course, I have to use window, uh, my Windows for, a cert for certain programs that I need. But my MacBook was what I really needed. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So if I do get back into school this year, I'm telling you, part of that money is going to a, some of it is going to pay off these few debts that I owe, pay catch up on, you know, like my rent. But the others, the other one or two, <laughs> I'm, I'm using part of it to buy me a MacBook and the other part I'm using it to invest in crypto. You know, I'm about to drop 1K on, you know, I don't know which, maybe 1K on XRP. I don't know. Maybe I'll just drop, <laughs> who knows, maybe I'll just drop this whole the, the whole thing on XRP, you know? <sighs> Who knows, you know? Because I don't know the future, really. All I know is that I'm not here to gain popularity. I'm not here to have everybody like me and support me. If y'all support me, then that's cool. If y'all don't, that's cool, too. But one thing I want to get clear before I end this is just understand that I'm I'm not for Trump and I'm not for Biden. I'm not for any government official in today's society or in our current patriarchal system because all of them are corrupt. None of them show true empathy. It's all a setup. We sh as Morg said, in the video that he released two days ago, which I ended up watching a day late, you know, we should be, the people in power should be based on moral, empathy, compassion, and merit, you know? Not greed, money, conning and all that. This, it, it's up to us to make a change. And I hate to break it, but that's just who I am. Like, that's my type of belief system. Because I've there's too much going on in this world. All this bad stuff. And people are sitting here fighting every day, you know? And I'm not trying to get into that side of things right now. Because right now I'm trying to focus on helping y'all find your worth. Helping y'all stop living in FUD. Helping y'all not get caught in FOMO. I'm here for y'all, man. I ain't doing this for me. I'm not. Now, I'm not a preacher and I'm not a teacher. But I want you to know this one thing. <sighs> Better yet, let me ask you again. Why are you living in fun? Why? Why do you believe that living your current life is better than what your future could hold if you stopped living in FUD and you started taking a risk and taking a chance in the new technology in the new world because nothing lasts forever that phone you have isn't going to last forever it's not that car you have isn't going to last forever these clothes you have they're not going to last forever 
the relationship you have, depending, depending on who they with, a lot of them aren't going to last forever, man. Your life is not going to last forever. Your job is not going to last forever. Stop living in fun. Have a great day, everybody. Peace out.